Welcome to Egg Harbor Township. One, well, two, three. Hey. <laughs> hey Glamour Ghouls, welcome back. Today we are at the Spirit Halloween flagship store in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. Thank you so much to Spirit for sponsoring this video and we are going to walk through the store. Look, we're here! It's so exciting! So as you already know, the theme this year for Spirit Halloween was the Halloween Factory, the graveyard shift. This is our opening entrance when we come in, and it's framed by these two animatronics. Mr. Howell is back this year. I know a lot of you are really excited to see him. He is absolutely huge. He stands like seven feet tall. All right, Glamour Goals, let's head into the Halloween factory. Woo! <laughs> so right when you come in, we got Ghostface jumping out. Give that one a step for me. Ooh! Spooky, spooky! And then we got my boy Beetlejuice! <laughs> Let's give him a step. We got blood all over the floor. All right, so around the side, and if you didn't see, we do have this 92 days to Halloween sign counting down. So around here we have the Halloween factory assembly line. This is our Carve-O-Matic. Look how cute this is. This is our carvomatic. All these little skeleton workers. Oh, we're about to have a we're about to have something pop up. Woo! Got our friend Pennywise coming out the public work sewer. This is one I'm particularly excited about. This is Grim the skeleton. His arms move very, very cool. See the pumpkins go in uncarved, come out carved on the other side. And then, of course, we've got our old pal, Nightcrawler. new step pads this year look like factory grates with sludge coming out of them. <laughs> Very cool. And we've of course got a jumping spider. Is it even spirit if <laughs> we don't have a jumping spider? Okay, headed around the other side of the factory wall here. We've got Buzzsaw, he is huge, absolutely huge, really, really nice looking animatronic. We've got Punctured Pete, who is, again, he's been around for a little bit. 
Love to see him. Always a favorite. I love the motion on this animatronic. Very cool. Here's a up close look at Mr. Buzzsaw. Look at the detail. So much awesome detail on this animatronic. You have to be faster than that. <laughs> got a product testing area on this side with our friend Harriet Hustle in here. She is hanging on a trapeze, the knife in her mouth, extra creepy. Such a fun animatronic. And then we've got her partner Henry Hustle. He's really big too. They've got a lot of really, got a lot of really large scale animatronics this year. <laughs> we got my best boy Sam from Trick or Treat. Y'all know that's one of my favorite movies. And then this is gonna make uh, Sam from Halloween Happy very <laughs> excited. This is our boy Shorty from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Uh, let's see. There he goes. Details on him are so good, so accurate. These are awesome. We love to see licensed animatronics for sure. And in the backside, we've got this Halloween factory set up. This is a bit of a walkthrough one as well. Oh, look, we've got skeleton friends with LED eyes up top. That is so fun. Work in the graveyard shift up there. Let's go in. I love the details, like the flickering lights and the smoke coming off of these. So fun. And everyone is so excited to see our friend Wacky Mole back this year. They've got such great black lighting in here. It really just makes him like glow and look so, so good. Uh, so thrilled to see him back finally. <laughs> Notice, please step up and take your photo off our wall. Oh! So I guess when you peek your head through here, maybe you come out on the other side. All these small details this year, like like even these doors are like coffin shaped. It's so so cool. <laughs> This is honestly the best display I've seen from Spirit. It's so detailed, so fun. I loved Reaper's Island last year, but this is really, really cool and unique. We've got Night Stalker over here. These uh, red up lights are so great on him. Oh, so amazing. Safety starts here. This factory has worked zero days without an injury. Accidents are unavoidable. <laughs> Here's another one of those. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, babe. I've been super excited to see in person, guys. This is the caretaker. Look at the detail on his face. I think he is so cool. If you've got a haunted graveyard at home, this is a must have. So cool. He's got that gravestone on his back. 
And then our old pal, the Harvester of Souls. Y'all know he is so cool. I've actually never gotten to see this one with the fog actually working. Oh, oh it's so cool, you guys. Amazing. And behind them we have this production display with these amazing LED screens that look like windows looking into the factory. You can see all the skeletons working, hard at work, getting ready for Halloween. This is such a cool detail. Ah! <laughs> Uh-oh, wipe out. So we've got research and development with blueprints for Mr. Howell. Looks like maybe... <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. This is Mr. Dark. I mean, that's got to be what? 12 feet? 10 or 12, 10 feet, or 12 yeah. feet tall. That is... That is absolutely amazing. And they've got all these cool blueprint posters. I wonder if you can buy these. It looks like you can. Oh, there's another one hiding down there, guys. You want to give it a step for me, bud? Oh! Got a devilish hand shooting out of this box. It's called the Experiment Number Four. That is really, really cool, guys. I'm gonna get a shot from this guy. Going this way. Okay, get ready. <laughs> that is so fun. He's got red light up in the eyes. Super scary teeth. That is just such a cool, cool prop. Okay, so we have got a couple more new pieces under our unhuman resources thing here. We've got Ophelia, who is being haunted <laughs> by this guy. Oh, he goes to the other side too. That's cool. Oh, her eyes go back and forth. Very cool. And then we've got Evelyn Leach, our sad, quote, sad bride, but I think it's a lie. She's holding the head of maybe her ex-lover. Crying tears. Wow, we've got the really old Crypt Keeper um, animatronic. That was, it's been years since Spirit had a Crypt Creeper animatronic. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I was gonna too. Okay. That is all of our animatronics. So I'm gonna start walking around and showing you guys some of the products they have on the floor this year. I saw a big old section of new Beetlejuice stuff that I cannot wait to look at. So let's start heading over into the home decor area. All right, ghouls. So a lot of you last year said you were hoping that they would expand the Beetlejuice line and they definitely have. I am so excited to show you all this awesome new Beetlejuice merch. Let's get into it. I am in love with this new Beetlejuice sign. It looks so like dilapidated and cool. Like it's been hanging for a really long time. It's got great moss texture. So cool. Let's see if we can find. This is $29.99 for this MDF Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice sign. We've got these super cute lights. We've got Adam, a sandworm. The shrunken head, obviously, and Barbara. These are so cool. Look, we've got the handbook for the recently deceased. This is a cool little cross body bag. Y'all know I'm gonna need that in my life. We've also got journals that are the handbook. 
a little Beetlejuice tray. Oh, it's metal. That's cool. <gasps> Y'all, a sandworm snow globe. This is so pretty. I love it. Oh my gosh. So, so cute. It plays something. Taylor, it plays something. Hold on. Hold on, guys. It plays something. A little cute. That is so cool. That's $24.99. You know I love a snow globe. That's so pretty. We saw this little guy last year. I do really like this. It's got a little light. You might have seen this on the uh, the ghoul mates. They have this in their backdrop. So cute. This was something I was so excited to see this year. Is this Dante's Inferno Room stand-up wood sign. That is $14.99. I love this. And it does have a hanger, so you can hang it on a wall. This is one of my favorite little, like, details in the movie. And I love... This is so well done. We've got all kinds of pillows and blankets. We've got wine glasses, mugs, shot glasses, tumblers... I don't remember seeing this one last year. It says, I myself am strange and unusual and has Lydia's. Oh, actually, too. It looks like there is. There's a Beetlejuice. There's a matching Beetlejuice one that says the ghost with the most. Those are super duper cute. And then we've got these patterned ones. Got a wreath. This is also new this year, this Lydia mirror that says, my whole life is one big dark room. This is also new, a light up mantle piece that says, it's kind of hard to read, sorry. There we go. It says Beetlejuice has some sandworms and it's got purple lights across it. Super cool. And then this It's Showtime banner. And I lived through the Black Plague and had a pretty good time during that. <laughs> I also love that they did a sign of his advert for Beetlejuice, the Bio Exorcist. And they have these two matching mirrors with cameos of Lydia and Beetlejuice. Your Instagram story? Yeah, I will. Everything looks so good this year. I love they have plushies of Adam and Barbara with their faces, like during the, um, when they're trying to scare people. And they've got a sandworm. They've got all just all kinds of really, really great Beetlejuice merch this year. And uh, trust me, there is more to come with this. I am so excited <laughs> to have a, a lots of great Beetlejuice options this year. And we've got a few more Beetlejuice products over here. We've got these sandworm lights, which they did have last year, but I love these so much. Let me see if I can. Uh, I want these in my room all year long. They have the elusive Beetlejuice sign that we have spent so much time looking for last year. It looks like they've got a lot of them this year, so if you missed out on that, definitely grab one. I will link that in the description box if y'all want to grab that. We've got a little cool Adam stand up. They do have a Barbara too, but it looks like people have snapped her up. And the sandworm greeter. All right, my second favorite trick or treat. Got a really cool countdown to Halloween with Sam. What is that? Oh, the pumpkin lights up and makes some noise. That is so cool. Looks like the EHS cover, I love that. This is cool, so much cool license merch this year. This is a photo of the kids from the bus on Trick or Treat, oh my gosh. That is a really cool piece of merch, I love that. Got a little Sam and his pumpkin. A Trick or Treat pillow. An awesome, again, the, the, the bus photo. Trick or Treat tumbler. 
tumbler with a straw. And then, guys, look at this Sam Head Squishmallow thing. Look at him. He's so squishy. I love this so much. $24.99. Worth it. This is the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. Okay, continuing on, we have... I know this was a hot ticket item last year, Sam's Flaming Pumpkin. They do have it back again. We've got a cool little Sam greeter for candy. Oh, moving into some Pennywise. Little Pennywise door knocker that's eyes light up. Very cool. Oh, we've got a Sam Groundbreaker. So I'm assuming this comes out of your yard. Let's see if we can find a... Yeah, here we go. A picture of it coming out. That is so cool. And he's got his lollipop in one hand. That is really cool. We've got Jason, Friday the 13th. Have a nice day with Michael Myers. I remember they had last year like a pillow with him on it that said slay. <laughs> oh wait, here it is. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. Slay. <laughs> I love that. We've also got a little plushie of the SS Georgie from It. Super fun. Lots of cool mugs. Sam. Sam again. Pennywise. Jason. We've got some really cool Michael Myers mask lights and some trick or treat lollipop lights, which have definitely a soft spot for me. I love that. Ooh, a ghost face projector. That's really cool. They've got a shadow light for Pennywise as well. You can kind of see what it's throwing up back there on the back. Got some killer clowns again. Love that. Love that they're adding this to their repertoire this year. This is a really, I think, a, a thing that has a lot of fans that hasn't had a lot of merch in the past, so we love to see it. This is super cool. I love this lamp. I do kind of wish it was like Michael's Jack Lantern, but mm -hmm. yeah. That is so freaking cool. We've got Pennywise coming out of his sewer grate. And little Sammy boy on his jack o' lantern. So cute. We've got lots of really cute new blankets this year. This, I wish it was Friday. It's so funny. <laughs> got some Chucky merch, some Annabelle. We don't see a whole lot of Annabelle usually, so that's cool. We even got some gremlins. And I love this. It's Sam's Rules of Halloween on a throw. So cute. And a very cool Michael Myers. If y'all are getting as excited for Halloween kills as I am, you can get your Halloween merch at Spirit. This is a cool reversible throw. It's got his little rules on one side, and then on the other side, it's got his lollipop and his mask. <coughs> Then we've got all this awesome signage. We've got news articles. I love these like newsprints they've been doing the last couple of years where they show the like headlines of the murder sprees from the killers. We got Michael and we've got some it from Derry Herald. Very cool. We've got the rules of Halloween on a sign. I love that. A very cool map of the Overlook Hotel from The Shining. That is super cool and a really nice Camp Crystal Lake sign. Um, they had, actually it wasn't even this one they had last year, so these are both new. This is really cool. Got a map of Derry, Maine. We've got kind of a uh, trajectory of Jason's masks. That's very cool. I love this more vintage looking trick or treat sign. That's super, super cool. And I'm loving this very, like, retro tourism Haddonfield sign. I think that's so fun. And, of course, we've got the graveyard. All their awesome gravestones. Tomb Sweet Tomb. 
It's the creepy baby aisle. <laughs> I feel like I haven't really been to Spirit every year until I get to see the Zombabies. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the stuff. Also got some like rats and cats and snakes. I've also got some air conditioning right yeah. here, which I'm really appreciating. <laughs> This is really cool webbing. Could definitely do something really, really cool in your front yard with that. And we've got our bone yard. Lots of great options to choose from. We've got some big skeletons. We've got some small skeletons. We've got some really cool, is this a shark jaw? It is, it's like a shark head. That's really cool. Lots of cool undersea critters. If you're wanting to do some kind of like spooky boneyard bathroom situation that could be kind of fun or a, a haunted aquarium we have quite literally some skeleton keys <laughs> got some more cool beetlejuice stuff over here we've got a really nice quality beetlejuice mask this is like really really intense it's mm. awesome got his wedding attire oh got a little hat that says strange and unusual and some cute socks with him as the snake. And this is Ghost with the Most. And some little sandworm sockies. Meaty. Is that a staff? Yeah, it's a cane. <laughs> and there's that uh, crossbody bag again. That is so cool. I would carry that every day. Also got some really nice Michael masks as well. And we've got a couple different iterations. We've got Michael Myers, the beginning, and we've got Halloween 2 as well. And of course, you can't be Michael without some stabby stab. I love this shirt. Halloween safety. Yeah. Lori's just trying to babysit, leave her alone. We've got a whole bunch of Chucky merch, and I am very excited to see a Tiffany costume, as well as this cute little, like, Chucky clutch with a bloody knife, and the wrist part strap looks like his sweater, which is super cute. Uh, I love to see anything Chucky. We've got her whole makeup kit with her little Tiff necklace. I don't know how much I love Tiffany. We've also got like non-costume related Killer Clowns merch. So we've got a really great t-shirt with an awesome print on it. We've got Shorty's Club. Some really awesome spiky and shorty masks. And we've got this really great prop, the cotton candy gun. For $24.99, I feel like that's a great price for this. It's really, really detailed and looks super film accurate. I love that, that's so much fun. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this little shirt, tie front. Ugh. Guys, I want all the Sam merch. I was able to get a lollipop last year. I was really happy about that. They have like the, I've been looking for these, the, the like the tarot card ones, say like the boogeyman. Oh are super cool. I've actually been looking for these like tarot card shirts. Pennywise, Bogeyman, and Ghostface. So, so cool. Oh, the dreamer. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys. I just saw this. Corpse Bride! Look! Look at Victor and Emily! Oh my gosh. We got Corpse Bride socks. We got, oh, we got a butterfly headpiece. This is all, oh, you guys know how much I love Corpse Bride. We have Emily's bouquet. Oh, those are so sweet. And we got all kinds of great Jason merch over here. I love these hockey jerseys, that's so funny. We've got a counselor Camp Crystal Lake hat. Fun fact, this was actually my Halloween costume my senior year of high school, and it's still one of my favorite costumes I ever had. Oh, I love this Springwood High School. 
Very cute. I love things that like subtly reference a horror film without like you have to know the movie to know, you know? Cool Spirits done this year is expanded their vintage lines so we now have like a vintage style almost looks like a blow mold of Frankenstein the Wolfman and the skeleton uh, as inflatables which is super cool and they've got this really cool light up crystal ball eye inflatable love that also have the like masks like last year so this is the Frankenstein mask but it's on this hanging floating kind of and it, the eyes light up and it has hands so that's really cool it's a hanging character they also had a devil earlier but it has already been bought up people are excited to be here today that is for sure Ooh, this is a cool scarecrow very spooky and they have even more vintage masks this year. We've got all kinds of cool stuff. We got this new black cat that's different than last year's black cat. Very cool, like scaredy cat vibes. This is the one they had last year, which is also very cool. Very like folk art Joanna Parker, but this is very cool also. We've got like a robot. We've got this gorilla that's new. They've got the devil, which I don't think we got last year. And these are our friends that we were able to find last year. So cool. They've also got a skeleton and a clown. And then just when you thought there couldn't possibly be any more, there is. We've got all of our different lines over here starting with this kind of dark gothic line with this wreath. Got all kinds of cool different home decor options. Some throws. And I actually, I really like this little skull with a raven on top. That's very cool. Continuing, they've got another wreath and this cool Raven in there, which is super, super cool. Very pretty. They've got some different candles, dish towels, a lantern that's really cool. Tablecloths. I love this Raven mantle decor. That is so cool. And this really cool red lantern. Then they've got the kind of mystic-y moon line. They've got all these really cool like palmistry hands, candles. This moon sculpture is really pretty. This would be beautiful all year decor. Also got some really cool candle holders, this moon and sun. And a gorgeous, gorgeous crystal ball. Got 
a really cute twig moon wreath. I love that. That is so pretty. Moon face sign. And a really, really pretty box. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And this little ring dish. Some trays and wine glasses and throws. Really pretty tarot line. Continuing on in our kind of witch theme. Got as above, so below on this wine glass. Another very cool trinket box. They've got lots of these very neat little trinket pieces this year. Ooh, a bell with the triple moon goddess on top. Very cool. A raven skull. That's really neat. I like that. It's got like runes and different stuff on it. Another very cool light up pentacle wreath. Very cool, like snake candle taper holder. And again, we got the triple moon goddess pillow and a pentacle pillow. I'm obsessed with this giant planchette. Look at that. That is so cool. We've also got a planchette pillow and lots of really cute Ouija stuff. I love that mug too. This more kind of classic Halloween line. There's my headless horseman globe. I know y'all remember I got that last year. One of my favorite pieces I own from Spirit. Got some cool light up mantle scarf with the webs, different spider web, table runner. Got a flying lesson sign. And you say witch like it's a bad thing. This is something I'm so excited they have added this year. It is Haunted Mansion merch, which is amazing. Look at this little window. Three thumbs up. Oh my god, that is so cute with the hitchhiking ghosts. I love that sign. I've got this little banner that has the kind of layout of the mansion. And this is like the Beetlejuice sign, Haunted Mansion, Graveyard, Beware, Hitchhiking Ghost. I think that is why I like them. They look very um, much like an amusement park sign. It's really cute. And of course, they do have the official Haunted Mansion like plaque for the front of the building. A tombstone for Here Lies Good Old Fred. Look at little Leota. Oh, this is a trinket box. So this is the lid that comes off and underneath is little, oh, it's a little place to put stuff. I love this. I love how Leota looks very like, um, she looks very pin up -y here, her little hairdo. I love this little box so much. That is so cute. Also got this gorgeous glass Madame Leota mug. Oh, are you kidding me? Gorgeous. Y'all know, or maybe you don't know, I love anything Madame Leota. <laughs> and we've got a very cool Welcome Foolish Mortals wreath that looks like it lights up. I can't reach it, but it's very, very cool. It's got little bats around it and the hitchhiking ghosts. Oh my God. Look at this tumbler, Madame Leota. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm just very, very excited to see all this Haunted Mansion merch this year. Oh, a Madame Leota sign I almost missed. It's all the way up here. How cute is that? And then last but certainly not least, we have our Hocus Pocus license merch. 
Y'all know I grabbed this sign last year. I'm so thrilled I have it. I love it so much. They've really expanded this line. They've got cool potion bottles that say special potion and dead man's toe. These do light up. So cute. Got a very cool little sculpture of all the witches popping out of a cauldron. Cauldron with their profiles. And what might be, I think this is a candle pedestal. It says, come we fly. It's got their profiles on it again. Very cool. And I love this because it's got Mary's vacuum. It's got the brooms and the vacuum <laughs> down low. That's so cute. This is one of my favorite new spirit products this year is this old Burial Hill gate. Uh, it's just such a cool movie reference and I love this piece. It's so beautiful. We've got some cool signage that we've not had before. This map of Salem where each of the movie locations are. The Burial Hill, the high school where they burn the witches, the houses, the town hall and the witch's house. Such a cool piece. Got like a hocus pocus table runner, a doormat that says goodbye cruel world. <laughs> and I have one of these uh, news articles for this too, which I love. The witches return from the dead. Salem and Hans, Salem entranced by trios bewitching ways. That is so great. I love that. This looks like it might actually light the candle when you do it. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, cute. We've got a Thackeray Bink snow globe. So cute. Got some really cute Dost Thou Comprehend towels. Got a Sanderson All Hallows Eve one. And this says, Trouble is Brewing. Very cute. Got really cool table decor. I love this because it's very simple. Like you wouldn't know it's Hocus Pocus until you really looked at it. I love this light up mantle decor too with their silhouettes flying across the moon. Put a spell on you, cauldron mug. Super cute, different mugs available. I love that one. It looks like a tourism mug from the museum and I love it. All right, cool, so that is it. That is Spirit's opening for this year in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. We are so thankful for Spirit bringing us out here and sponsoring this video today. I hope you all get out and get to your local spirit stores, pack up, get whatever you can because they have so much amazing stuff out this year. You will not want to miss it. I will see you all again very soon. And until then, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye!